Hey friends, coming on up, I'm going to talk about the difference between centralizing and localizing when you're wiring up for video distribution and surround sounds. Okay, this is a question we've been getting a lot from our pre-wire design clients. When we send back the notes on how to wire up their system, there's a lot of questions about whether or not they should have their surround sound system in a media cabinet next to the TV or if they should centralize it in a media rack. This isn't necessarily an industry term, but we refer to it as localizing when we place the surround sound receiver and the video components in the same room as the TV they're going to be displayed on. And we call it centralizing when we move all the video components for the different TVs into one central location. When you localize a surround sound receiver, all the speakers are going to run back to that surround sound receiver in that room. So picture a great room and you've got a TV over the mantle and there's some kind of a media cabinet next to that mantle and you're going to have your surround sound receiver hidden in that media cabinet. All the surround sound speakers in that great room are going to run back to the surround sound in that media cabinet. Another thing that we're probably going to need to do in the great room, we recommend running two to four additional Cat6 to that media cabinet location so we can tie those components into the network and have some options for control, whether that's IR or serial in that video cabinet as well. The components that are centralized in the media rack have everything there that they need to be tied into the control systems and the network. So there's no additional wire needed there in the media rack for those components to be hooked into the network or to be controlled by your smart home system. Another thing that we're probably going to need to do in the great room is instead of running the TV wires to the TV location, we're going to run the TV wires to the media cabinet where the surround sound receiver is at and then we're going to run conduit from the surround sound receiver on up to the TV. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll run TV to both locations so we leave our options open. So we'll run TV above the mantle so we have a direct line straight to the TV location and we'll run a TV location to the media cabinet where that surround receiver is going to be and then conduit on up. Again, it's just something we might consider doing to leave our options open. What will happen is some of our PR design clients will say, hey, I want to leave my options open so I can localize my surround sound receiver today and somewhere down the road move my surround sound receiver to the media rack in a centralized location. That's fine, but your surround sound speakers can't be in both locations. You can't localize your surround sound speakers and home run them to a centralized location. If you really want to do that, the only way to do that would be to wire up two sets of speaker wires, one that's localized and one that's home run all the way back to the media cabinet. And so it's not a right or wrong, but if you really think you're going to move the surround sound receiver to the media rack later, you want to think that through and be sure you've planned your wire accordingly. Sometimes our clients will decide to do a sort of hybrid approach where some of the equipment in the home is centralized in a media rack or some kind of a central closet in the home and some of the equipment is localized. And that's okay, we just need to make sure we really understand what's going on so that we wire accordingly. This conversation of localizing versus centralizing is going to be really interesting to watch over the next couple of years because as hardware becomes more networked based, it's not as critical for it to be centralized. One of the primary reasons that we centralize all of our equipment is so that it feels like it's all connected. It makes the user experience very seamless. But as equipment becomes more networked based, it's not as critical to have it centralized for us to still have that seamless user experience. Home audio is a great example of this. You can now buy home audio systems that are network based, which means instead of having to have all of your amplifiers and your audio switches in the media rack, there is the option to place them in closets throughout the home. So rather than running your home audio speakers all the way back to the media rack, maybe you'll consider running your audio speakers per floor. And you'll have a closet in each floor where your audio equipment is housed. There's a network cable running to that audio equipment so it's connected to the network and speakers running back to that closet on each floor. And when you fire up your system and use it, it's going to feel as though it's all centralized in the media rack. So again, this isn't a right or a wrong thing where it has to be centralized or it has to be local but we do want to think it through where do we want the system to be when it's all finished and make sure that whether we're localizing today or centralizing today, we've planned accordingly so we have the right wires in every location in the home. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions about that, please leave those in the comments. This is something we're getting asked a lot of questions about. If we need to, we're happy to make more videos about this particular topic. As always, we'd love it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe and watch for our next video.